Welcome back to another punch technology video. Today I'm going to give you a quick guide on how to remove one of the standard Intel coolers off of your motherboard, replace a thermal paste and then reinstall the cooler back onto your board without any problems. So if this video helps you out, make sure to click subscribe and without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. In front of us, what we have here is a H4 10M motherboard uh, just with a default Intel cooler on it. Now, what you'll find first is you've got four latches on each corner of the board. Now, the easiest way to do this, if you take a flathead screwdriver, you're just going to go into each latch and you'll find that there is a little gap that you can actually fit the screwdriver into, which will help you uh, to loosen this from the motherboard. What you want to then do is hold down the top of the cooler just there and then you want to lift up each clip one by one, just like this. Once that's done, you can also go ahead and remove the connector over here, just like that. And then what we're going to do is just give the fan a little wiggle and it should come off the CPU. As you can see here, this cooler is quite old and crusty. You can see the thermal paste has dried out quite a lot. If we take a look at the CPU, you can see there's not actually that much thermal paste on there, uh, but also you can see it's dried out quite a lot as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the CPU and the cooler, and then we're going to put some new thermal paste on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take some, um, some blue paper um, and just steady the board and we're just gonna give this thermal paste a clean off of the CPU here. Um, try and get around the edges a little bit if you can, um, but if you can't get all of it off, it's not too much of a problem. Um, but you can just go in there with your fingernail and clean off the edges. I'm gonna take my cooler as well, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna find a clean bit of blue paper here, and we're just gonna give the bottom of the, the cooler a nice clean. As you can see, that's coming up very nice and shiny now. Uh, again, with this, just try and get around the edges a little bit. You can see there's a little lip that kind of lifts up off there. Uh, we're just gonna go around and clean that up nicely as best we can. The main thing that's important is to ensure that this copper pad is, uh, is nice and clean. What we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna take my little tube of thermal paste here. As you can see, there's a bit left in there. Uh, I'm just gonna take the cap off. And what you wanna do is put about a pea-sized uh, piece of thermal paste onto the CPU here, and you'll see how big that is in a second. So I'm gonna start putting that on. about, just about like that should do. So it's about a pea-sized piece of thermal paste. We need to prepare the cooler before we can put it back on the board. Now to do that, if you take a close look at these latches, you'll see that there is an arrow pointing to the left. What you actually want to do to prepare this, give them a little pull up and prepare them by unwinding them back to the right, just like this and you should notice they will likely click each time we do this, just like that. I've just gone ahead and put the board on a piece of cardboard. Uh, you won't have to do this normally if your uh, motherboard is inside the computer already. Uh, I've done this just because it will allow me to uh, push down on the, uh, on the clips, on the, on the fan uh, when I go to install this. So first thing we wanna do is make sure that we have the cable uh, in a position that can reach the uh, fan header, which is just over here on the motherboard. This cooler can be installed in, in any orientation. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, I'm gonna install it in this particular orientation because um, it allows me to bring the cable around uh, right onto the, the connector there. So all we're gonna do is at this point is line up the holes on the motherboard, just like that. And then assuming the cooler doesn't move, we know that it's lined up and you can kind of feel it's gone into place. Then what we're gonna do is lightly push down on each connector until you hear a click. And 
we go. There we go. And there we go. So once it's on, we are going to just do another little heavier push on each corner just to make sure there's no more clicks left. So this is on properly. Um, so now all we're going to do is take our connector, connect it back onto the board and we are done. Right, that's job done. We now have the cooler freshly installed onto our motherboard where we should get much better cooling results. This will be especially effective if your PC is two or three years old and hasn't been replaced in a while. Once you've done this, you should have much better temperature results with your CPU. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.